It's time for Bears fans to move on from George Pickens. What's up, guys? Swift here covering everything Chicago Bears. It's actually kind of insane that I'm now making a second video about a guy who we didn't draft. Anyone who has followed me since before the draft knows that George Pickens was my favorite wide receiver leading up to this draft. I was more in on Pickens than almost anyone. We didn't land him. We took Kyler Gordon and Jaquan Brisker. I moved on. It's what you do. However, somehow a large portion of our fan base is still semi-obsessed with George Pickens. Every single time he catches a pass, fans talk about him. The problem is there is a very clear case of evidence to why Ryan Poles did not make that move. I talked about it earlier in the offseason when George Pickens was fighting with Mitch Trubisky and throwing temper tantrums on the sideline. He's now doing that again with Kenny Pickett. Does anyone believe that he would buy into the hits philosophy? Does anyone believe he would be out there blocking his ass off like EQ and the rest of our receivers do? No, about zero chance in my opinion. The narratives and coping by fans is weird. They say things like, he would be happy here. What? Why? He has 61 targets this season and would lead our entire team. And he's still not happy saying they don't throw him the ball. There is no way he would have 61 targets here. He's a second round rookie. Our third round rookie wide receiver has five total targets on the entire season. Five. Pickens has 61. Bayless Jones Jr. has five. Nikhil Harry also has five. Harry was a guy we traded for in the offseason, and he also only has five targets. What about Chase Claypool, who came from the same offense Pickens is in? He had 50 targets in eight games for Pittsburgh. That's over six and a half targets a game. On the Bears, in five games, he has 22 total targets, about four a game. So it makes literally zero sense to just assume that Pickens would get more targets here. He wouldn't. We run the ball way more than Pittsburgh does. On top of that, the latest distraction going on with Pickens should put an end to this obsession that fans have about him. He's still throwing temper tantrums on the sideline, calling out his rookie quarterback, Kenny Pickett, and now becoming a huge distraction. That simply would not fly here, period. If you guys think Eberflus would tolerate that, I have some news for you. Pickens would be benched or traded. The team is looking for players to help change the culture in the locker room. George Pickens is the last guy you want to bring in for that. I think Pickens will go on to be a great player for the Steelers, who have an established culture already and one of the best coaches in football, Mike Tomlin. I actually think we got a much better fit in Chase Claypool, who has just as much talent as Pickens, if not more, minus the temper tantrums. The Steelers were simply better equipped to handle a guy like George Pickens. The Bears needed guys who could come in and 100% buy into the hits principle. George Pickens was simply not that guy. It's time to let him go. Stay tuned, guys. I have a film breakdown video coming on Alex Leatherwood's debut on Sunday. There are some things in there that I feel like fans have to see. I am thoroughly impressed. Watch out for that one, guys. Please hit the like button for me. And until next time, bear down.